Welcome back to We're Reading Virtual Storytime for the week of May 10th, 2021. This Thursday, May the 13th, is Frog Jumping Day. In honor of that, we're going to be reading about frogs. So enjoy A Frog Thing by Eric Drachman and enjoy making our own flying frogs. A Frog Thing by Eric Drachman, illustrated by James Muscarello. Frank wanted to fly. But he was a frog and frogs can't fly. Frank was different though, special, aerodynamic. You can do whatever you set your mind to, Frankie, his parents had promised. So Frank set his mind to flying, but it was more like falling than flying. And everyone laughed at him. Tired and discouraged, Frank buried his head in his big web feet, and that's how Frank's parents found him. Frank explained his problem, and there was a long silence as they thought about how to respond. Frankie, started Frank's dad finally, when we said you could do anything you set your mind to, we meant any frog thing. See, flying is a bird thing, just like staying underwater forever is a fish thing. Yes, you should find a frog thing, said mom, but I want to fly. I'm sorry, kiddo, but frogs can't fly, explained dad. No, agreed mom. We swim and we hop, but we don't fly. They don't understand, he thought. We understand, they said, and patted Frank's shoulder. Frank sat in the dark, still sad, but growing more determined. I'll show them, he thought. I'll learn to fly, and I'll fly right over the pond. He jumped and ran. He leapt and dove. He flapped and flapped and flapped. And finally, he just flopped on top of a leaf to rest. He soaked his sore feet and hung his heavy head until... Splash! Something crashed into the water and started to sink. Frank leapt into action. It's a little baby bird, he thought. He swooped down, swept her up, and swam her back to the shore. The nervous mother hugged her baby tight. Her baby coughed, <coughs> then wheezed, <coughs> then opened her eyes, safe and warm in her mother's wings. The mother bird turned and kissed Frank right on the cheek. He was very surprised and a little embarrassed. Thank you, thank you, she chirped. What a great swimmer you are. How can I ever repay you? Oh, it was nothing, ma'am, said Frank, for he was a polite and modest frog. Please, I want to do something for you, anything. Well, suggested Frank, I really, really want to fly. But frogs don't fly, said the mother bird. I know, admitted Frank. And you still want to fly? Frank shrugged. I've set my mind to it. She looked in his eyes, then flew off in a flutter. Wait here, she cried. I'll be right back. And she did come back with another bird and a twig between them. Grab on, she called. Before he knew it, they were high above the trees. The morning sun streaked through the sky and the wind whistled over Frank's slick green skin. It was a little scary at first, but soon he relaxed as they glided and rose and swooped and dove. Everyone hurried to see Frank fly. They watched from the bank as he and the birds passed high above. This is no ordinary frog thing, observed Frank's mom. When their flight was finished, the mother bird pulled Frank close. You are a very special frog, she said, and with a whoosh of her wings, she flew back to her nest. Breathless, Frank waved, thank you, thank you so much. Frank hopped home, somehow lighter than before. On his way, he met his folks. Frankie, we saw you up there, Mom beamed. Fantastic, croaked Dad. You can do anything you set your mind to. Anything, agreed Mom. Well, 
any frog thing, maybe, Frank explained. The birds were the ones flying. I was just holding on. But I do think I could be one of the great swimmers. His parents smiled proudly as Frank joined his friends in the pond. Frank had wanted to fly, but he was a frog. And frogs can't fly, but they sure can swim. The end. We're gonna make our own flying frogs. So what you're gonna need is the frog template. And I went ahead and cut this out. Um, you'll find them on our Facebook page or if you go to Craft Go Kit, it's already cut out for you. You need a hole punch to get the string through. I already punched the hole. So, but if you are printing it off the internet, then you will need a hole punch. Um, you need string. This string is very long. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to put it right through before I lose it. Right through the hole here. Make a little slip knot type thing. So we got the loop. Pull it right through. And tighten it. So there we go. This way I don't mess up my string. It's already there. I'm putting that aside. Um, you'll need to color your frogs. You'll need um, crayons or markers or paints or whatever. Um, I'm going to color my frog green and I'm going to give them blue spots. Um, I don't know, you can go online and look up frogs. Frogs can be just about any color you can imagine. Um, this is, of course, where to cut out the frog. Um, you will need googly eyes because what well, doesn't need googly eyes? Or you can draw eyes on, but I like the googlies, you know that. And then you need a stick to make the frog fly. I found these on Oriental Trading. Um, they have these pretty green ribbons and I kind of like that. So we're going to make it fly with ribbons to make it even fancier. And then you're going to tie the string onto here just um, to be safe. I would suggest gluing the string to there. I would use a tacky glue or like I'm going to use this hot glue gun. Um, so that's just my suggestion, just because it can fly off. Um, and we don't want the frogs to disappear on us. So the first thing we're going to do, move these things aside, is we're going to color the frog. And I like to keep the little black part up with the outline. Um, some people want to hide that, so they'll put it underneath. You can actually color both sides because it's going to be flying through the air. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start with the green and then I'm going to add some blue spots to the top. Maybe I'll make his underbelly tummy blue too. Alright, so now he's all colored. Um, I'm going to put his eyes on and since I just happen to have this ready, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Um, you can just use like school glue, you can use a glue stick, you can use um, tacky glue, whatever you'd like. But since I already have my hot glue gun ready, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Plus it dries a lot faster. It's already basically dry right now. Give him another eye. And I'm going to have him touching. So there's that. Frog. Next thing we're going to do, this is a parent job or a grown up job, I'm sorry. Um, any parent or grown up can do this. Or a big kid, older kids can do this for you too. Um, we need to tie the string to here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tie a little knot here. If you can see. I made a square knot there so that there's overlapping there. And I'm gonna tie it up where all the um, ribbons come together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it around there at the base of the plastic cap. Now you need to be careful because these plastic caps can come off if you pull them. Um, and that's the only thing holding these ribbons on. So another suggestion I would make would be to use the glue gun to kind of seal off the bottom. So if you use a glue gun or tacky glue to kind of 
kind of solve it all with one fail swoop there. So I tied it around once, twice, and now I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot or two. So it's nice and tight. And then you can use the scissors to cut off any excess. Um, so it's not just hanging there. Don't cut it too, too close to the knot or else the knot could come out. So I'm just gonna snip it there and there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna take all the ribbons down and I'm gonna put a glob of glue just all around it just to kind of keep it steady. And that should dry very quickly. And then we will take it and we will try it out. I'm gonna have to have one of my coworkers help me with this. And we'll see how it goes. As far as is looking at fall fly. Give my leaf to this guy. Oop, there it goes. All right, slow down. All right, I think he's had enough flying for today. Yeah.